Today we also bring you a piece of intelligence about Taiwan. The CCP's 2024 nationwide mobilization simulation has accelerated. At the end of May, the CCP completed a simulated economic and energy blockade of Taiwan, with considerations of the measures against China's internal reactions and the reactions from Taiwan and international society. The exercise was to prepare for the future attack of Taiwan. Today we also have a series of intelligence about Russia. Since the Russia-Ukraine war, most of China-Russia transactions have been settled in RMB, a part of it was in ruble. The CCP is not only to expand the scale of RMB settlement with Russia, but also to expand the RMB settlement between Communist China and more countries in Europe, Central Asia, Africa, the Middle East and South America. In short, they are abandoning the US dollar. Another thing about Russia is that Russia, North Korea, and Iran continue to strengthen their alliance against the United States. So the United States won't have enough resources to deal with the CCP. The CCP's strategy in the Middle East is stoke a fire, they keep instigating regional chaos and conflicts, fomenting discord between the Middle Eastern countries. The purpose is the same, just like the Russia-Ukraine war, which is to make the United States or the Western countries unable to pull themselves out of the war. So the CCP are stoking the fire over there, to provoke internal strife in the Middle East. To contain the power of the United United States and Western countries. Also at the China-Arab summit, there is a special meeting about the youth. In the past five or six years, the young people around the world have been trained or instilled with the CCP's values, or what they call a positive view of China. Take a look at the social media platform or mainstream networks, you have seen there were Westerners promoting China. In their videos, they will say China is good, China is safe, China's economy is good, and China's construction is also very good. This is planned by the CCP. In the past five or six years, to ten years, they have deliberately spent a lot of energy and money to promote a positive view of China using the young generation. The information we have obtained here is that the Pacific Alliance Group PAG has participated in the acquisition of Wanda, we know behind PAG is Sean Weijian. PAG has mobilized a fund of 60 billion, so PAG is in control of a large amount of Wanda's share now. The last piece of the intelligence is about the National Endowment for Democracy. Everybody can verify it later, the CCP will start a huge negative press propaganda campaign on the National Endowment for Democracy, including using the young people in the West to criticize the National Endowment for Democracy on social media platforms.